Hello students, parents and fellow teachers. If you are one of my current students, then this video is being made specifically for you. If you are not, then welcome and I hope you find it useful. So in this video, we are going to be looking at one of my all time favorite teaching programs. It's not specifically designed for teaching, but I use it for teaching. And just as a little disclaimer, this way video is in no way associated with Microsoft. They have not sponsored it. I am simply making it because I think this program is actually a really good tool for teachers and students. So with that said, the one program that we are going to be looking at is OneNote which is basically a Notability, Shobi, email, audi and audio notes all rolled into one. And the best part is it is completely, absolutely 100% free. And it's also very self-intuitive, easy to use and dyslexic friendly. OneNote sometimes comes pre-installed on your computer depending on the software package that you purchased. However, if you're a Mac user, just jump on the App Store and download OneNote. It'll take you like 30 seconds, maybe longer if you have a not so fantastic internet connection. And make sure you also grab OneDrive because that won't work properly without OneDrive and you'll also need to make a Microsoft account, but we're gonna get to all that stuff later on. First, let's look at the program. Click on the lovely purple icon with an N in it to launch the program. It will automatically take you to the page you last had open, which in my case is my notes for this video, or it will run you through the setup sequence that it has. Now on the side here, you have what we call notebooks, and these are just like your physical notebook. Within each notebook, you then have different sections, and within each section, you have different pages. I have a different section for each student, and you'll notice that each section has a little padlock icon next to it. This is because I have given each student a unique password so everyone only has access to their own section. To open up your section, you simply click on the little padlock, enter your password, and voila, you're in. Now, as you can see here, I have set up a few pages already, but you can have as many different pages as you like. To open a page, you simply click on it. Now, there are a few features here that I absolutely love that I will quickly show you. When I'm within a page, I can click absolutely anywhere on a page and type. If later on I change my mind about where I put the text, I can then click on it and drag it. I can also easily add recordings for students to listen to simply by dragging and dropping them in from either iTunes or wherever I've got the actual file saved. I can also create a checklist of things that students need to work on and I can even add a photo or PDF of their music. So I never forget what students are working on and if a student forgets their music we still have access to a copy without me having to lug a carload of books and resources around with me everywhere I go. Now if you have an iPad Pro or similar device with a stylus or like the Apple Pencil then you can actually draw and highlight all over anything that is on your OneNote page including the PDFs and photos of your music. You can even copy and paste portions of blank manuscript paper in and using your stylus on your tablet or touch device, you can then draw in any exercises or compositional ideas you would like to notate. Another feature that I absolutely love is the ability to embed videos directly from YouTube because that way I can have everything that the student needs on one page. As you can see here, I've got like the YouTube video and then some questions and then a link to relevant resources and then further questions and the student can literally just click over the top and either type or draw in the answer with their stylus. The final thing that I would like to draw your attention to is that OneNote can actually make audio recordings. This way, students can record their lessons on a page and if they then want to take notes throughout the lesson, so say I'm recording something and my teacher says, 
pay attention specifically to bar 57, you can write bar 57 and then OneNote makes a little marker within the recording. So when you're back at home and you're like, oh, what did my teacher tell me about page or bar 57? You can click on the text you made and it will take you to that exact point in the recording and you can re-listen to it. And that way you will never forget anything your teacher says ever and your teacher won't get tired from saying the same thing again and again. <laughs> And that is pretty much everything I use OneNote for when it comes to teaching. Everything that we put on it is stored in the cloud called OneDrive. So it can be accessed by students, teachers and parents from any device at any point in time. There is also a special version of OneNote that they've made for classroom teachers, which allows you to set assignments and due dates and also caters for a much larger volume of students. So, now, if you're one of my students, we need to get you all set up and going so that you can access all the lovely pages that I have made for you. The very first step is to jump on a device with internet and make your Microsoft account. To make your account, Jump on Google and search Microsoft OneDrive and click on the sign up button, which you will actually have to click on several times. You're only going to need a basic account, which is great because it's free. Type in your email and hit the next button. You will then need to verify that it is in fact your email. So log into your email, double check your junk folder and grab the code that Microsoft will have sent you. Copy and paste your code into the text box provided, hit next and prove you are not a robot. Then you're all good to go. Sometimes they do require you to put in your birth date as well. I'm not sure why they sometimes ask this and why they sometimes don't. It's just one of those odd things. If you're planning on using an installed version of OneNote, so not the web browser version, then you're going to need to install OneDrive onto your device and log in using the account you just made. This is going to vary from platform to platform, but it should be fairly straightforward. Next, if it's not already installed, you will need to install OneNote. So jump on the App Store, do a quick search and hit the download slash install button. Alternatively, if you're using a PC, you can download the software straight from the Microsoft website. Once it's downloaded, you will be asked to select which notebooks you would like to sync, or if you're new to OneNote, you can make a new one. Finally, head back over to your email inbox and open the email that I sent you that was called something along the lines of OneNote Access. Click on the link in the email. This will automatically open the notebook in your web browser and add it to your OneDrive. Now that the document has been added to your OneDrive account, you can open it on your device by going File, Open Notebook, OneDrive, and then simply selecting the notebook. The notebook will then be added to your collection of notebooks on the sidebar, and you can access it anytime you need, regardless of whether or not you have internet. And you are now all set and ready to go. If you have any questions, then please leave them down in the comments below and I will attempt to get back to them in a timely fashion. I totally forgot to introduce myself at the start of this video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Emma Rogers and this is my YouTube channel, The Techie Flautist. If you're interested in any of my other work, then feel free to jump across to my website www.emmarogerscomposer.com I'm probably going to be changing that um, domain name across to the Techie Flautist. I just haven't figured out how to do it yet. But that's alright. I hope you enjoy using OneNote and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.